Welcome back to our tutorial series on making a banner uh, promotional image for a website. This is what we're sort of working towards um, and this is where we're currently up to. So uh, the next job we need to do really is to cut out the background from behind this baby so that the baby sits better on top of our swimming pool background. Uh, so to do that, make sure you've got your baby layer selected. We're going to use the Cutout Studio, which is a specific tool in Photo Plus just for the purpose of, um, of removing backgrounds. Now, the way it works is you, you have some different brushes. Um, either you have a brush that says you can draw what you want to keep or what you want to get rid of. And then we have a few different view modes. So we can see the original image. We can show a tinted view where it shows the areas you're getting rid of uh, as being sort of tinted off. Um, or transparent entirely the areas you're getting rid of as you get rid of them. So we're going to use the discard tool and we have some different pre-built sizes so either a small brush, um, a medium sized brush or a large brush and we can actually go even larger if we want to uh, we can slide that right up to a much bigger brush which considering there's quite a lot of background to get rid of is probably quite a good idea. So with your brush selected you can just start drawing and to be honest, it's okay if it's a bit rough and ready because we can fix any, uh, any cuttings out that we didn't intend to do later on. So let's just go along here. Okay, and notice it does sort of jump uh, quite quickly at times and that's because it's, it's trying to cleverly match areas of similar color uh, in order to take them out. So I'm just going to keep doing this for a few moments and then I'll show you how we refine things afterwards. Okay, so I've now uh, selected most of the bits I want to discard, um, but notice down here on the uh, arm, I've actually cut into the arm a little bit, so I'd like to put that back in. So I'm going to switch brushes from the discard to the keep, and I can just go back and draw over the bits I want to keep, and it just adds it back in really easily. Right, now it's time, I think, to preview and see how this looks. So if we just press the preview button, it's not too bad. Obviously, we've got a little bit of a, an issue here, but we should be able to sort of make that fall off the edge of our banner so we don't see it. Uh, I can see that there's a little bit of blue still in there, so I need to go uh, back into my... Uh, actually, rather than using a, dis uh, a discard brush, which sort of magically tries to select bit, we can just draw some transparency in. So I'm going to make my brush really small and I'm just going to draw over that bit and it just makes that bit transparent. Excellent, so that's done that quite neatly now. I'm pretty happy with that, I think it's done a good job. So once we're finished we can just press OK. Now as a quick tip, if, you, um, if you're doing uh, stuff maybe that's quite white, um, it can help to change the background colour to sort of blue or something else so you can really see the effect. Um, but I think I'm happy, like I say, I think we can make this bit sort of fall off the edge of the picture so you don't see it anyway, so I think that this will be fine. So we're going to press OK. And there we go, now my baby is all of a sudden uh, no longer with that previous background that we had. Um, if we click on the deform tool, I can resize the baby a little bit, holding shift as I do, and this will get rid of that awkward bottom bit that I was saying about and again we can push it over and get rid of a bit more of mum. So we've just got the baby showing. And that's pretty good going. Excellent. So there you go. So we've managed to cut out our baby and we've put the baby now into the image itself. Now while I've uh, got the baby there, there's just one more thing I'd quite like to do and that's just to bring a little bit more what we call vibrancy and colour to the baby. So to do that, I'm going to, with my baby selected, I'm going to choose one of these adjustments and I'm going to choose the um, 
the levels one first of all and I'm going to make a few adjustments but I want to make sure that the adjustments I make only apply to the baby so to do that if I just right click anywhere uh, here on the levels layer and select clip to layer below now whenever I make any adjustments it will only apply to the baby and there's a few things we can try and do so I can make the baby look a little bit less faded out by dragging a little bit to the right I could maybe just change the black point a bit and possibly a bit brighter so it stands out a bit more you want to be careful it's not too artificial uh, but it's sort of a rich deeper colour does tend to uh, stand out a bit more in the image. It's a subtle difference if I switch it off but it just has a bit more life to it, just looks a little bit more professional. Okay so that's going to be the end of uh, this tutorial so that's how we can use the cutout studio to make um, one image sit on top of another image. Um, when you come back onto our next one we're going to start putting some text onto our banner image.